Laura has just remortgaged her home. Despite being through the process before, this application was much more difficult. It was a much more involved process. For example, I had a surveyor out to come and look at the house. Um, and in terms of the actual opportunities that there were for remortgage or offers on the table, there were far fewer than there have been in previous years, which speaks a little bit to how more complicated it is to get, to get a remortgage and a fixed rate at this, at this time. This interest rate jump from 0.75% to 1% is the highest since the recession in 2009. After today's announcement, advisors say that if you've had a mortgage for the last 13 years, you may now find that you've borrowed more than you can comfortably afford to repay. Similarly, they say if you're looking to remortgage your house or you're a first time buyer, the cost of any potential mortgage is changing every day. First time buyers, um, they're the most affected by it. They can only borrow against the valuation, which means if they then pay more for the house, which is a pattern at the moment, that's coming out their own savings. People are waiting maybe up to six months at times to, to get a property from when they've maybe seen a mortgage advisor and decided what they're going to do. But the products in the background may have gone up. Experts say rising mortgages may be the final straw for those who are just about managing. People on the margins, people who are in work, have a mortgage but really don't have that extra whatever £300 this year to spend, they are going to be hit by this and, and that's the real concern. On top of the interest rate hikes, the Governor of the Bank of England offered a bleak warning. Inflation is expected to rise over the remainder of the year averaging slightly over 10% at its peak. And we are walking this, you know, this very narrow path now. And, and to, to your question, I mean, the reason for the approximate reason for, the, you know, for, for, for raising bank rate at this point is not only, I mean, it's not, it's not only the current profile of inflation, what is to come, and of course what that could mean for inflation expectations. The thought of continuing to rent my whole life because of this being like interest rates and um, all that being out of my grasp is pretty scary. I'm apprehensive about the whole, the whole sort of future of it for us all. <laughs> it's gloomy news and there could be more to come. A further interest rate rise is expected later in the year.